Now, Ocean is one of the greatest reservoirs of life on earth. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Irfan, and welcome to the Splash Summer Party! Thank you. Now, the show will begin in just a few short moments. But before that, I've got three gentle reminders. First up, for those of you seated in the first few rows, you are seated in the splash zone. Okay, take a look at your seats right now. If they are blue in color, then it's gonna get really, really wet. However, should you please to remain in your seat, brace yourself for a splashing good time. Secondly, throughout the show, everyone remain seated because if you move around, you may distract our sea line. Last but not least, after the show, please exit the amphitheater in an orderly manner. Can we all do that? Yeah. All right. With that said, let me see if my sea line is ready. You guys hear that? It's very excited to meet all of you guys. Well, I am ready, but the most important question is, are you guys ready for the show? Okay, you know what? Really loud, but I think you guys can do even better. Are you guys ready for the show? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is our gala for the Let's see how 
Would you like to see how fast you can spin? Okay, one more time. Would you like to see how fast you can spin? That's more. So this Pedro, you have done less to us. You're faster. <laughs> Alright guys, 
Friends, right now we have come to the highlight of the show. Now, earlier on, I told you guys how intelligent Pedro is, right? But right now, we're going to put his intelligence and sense of self-control to the test. So what's going to happen right now is, our premier Raven is going to place one piece of fish right in front of Pedro. Just like that. Now we know that sea lions cannot resist fish, and especially Pedro, who weighs about 200 kilograms, simply loves his fish. But Trader Raven says that Pedro is so well trained, he will not touch that piece of fish until he hears a signal from his trainer, which is a clap. So that is even if all of you started clapping, he will not touch that piece of fish. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and try. Okay, you know what? Good try, but Raven is hiding a secret. The secret is one single clap, okay? We've all got to work together. I'm going to come to key and you guys are going to clap. Can we all do that? All right, hands up. One, two, three. 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 Yes, Raven. Okay. Wow. I think Raven wants to make it even harder for Pedro. Okay, but we're not gonna give up. We will try this one last time. Okay, heads up. What? <laughs> one, two, three. You know what? Give yourself a big round of applause. You all are so easy to train. I'm just joking, as you can see, the fish is still right there, right on the great and sense of fact. And that's what really happened. Now the reason he did not touch that piece of fish is because he knows he's gonna get now that one. The broke coach. A whole lot of love for the Well done. And this is what we call. right now. He would like to take this time to remind all of us to protect our environment, especially our oceans. Now, trash has not only made our oceans a very ugly place, but also a dangerous one. <coughs> Today we'll find out about the oceans that is monsters, but I'm not talking about sharks or killer whales, I'm talking about plastic waste. Every year, thousands of animals swallow away, smoke on it, and die. But we know there are other plastic monsters lurking in our waters, and today we are going to find out about two main culprits. First up, we have fishing lines. Now, fishing lines can entangle and extract around the necks and throats of animals causing serious damage, just like a broken flipper. Now, that's how a sea lion moves with a broken flipper, and once he has that, he may never swim again. Secondly, we have fishing nets. Animals can get caught in them, and what happens next to the They grunt and they die. Okay, Pedro, enough acting for today. Okay, I think we need to clap for him. Awesome. 
Remember, you don't ride the bus really wet. With that said, I'm ready to hit and goodbye.